Hello and welcome back. This is the Moat, and this is the this is episode nine of my attempt at the January Michael Daring Hardcore Challenge for 2016. Let's go ahead and jump into this world, and it is home sweet home. And with any luck, I will indeed be in our home sweet home. So here I am, in the blacksmith shop. Hello. Whoop. <laughs> I didn't really want to trade with you. Whoops. And now I didn't want to throw my shovel at you. All right, you come on in. I'll trade you places. Thanks. All right. So, um, I think my goal here, I probably should have checked before I left it, is I'm going to put in a few more doors because we have our iron golem. I thought that was pretty cool that we, you know, we had a, an iron golem spawn in. That, uh, for me, is a it's a big deal. That was really neat that, that we, uh, I was able to get an iron golem. I've never spawned one naturally, just kind of out of the blue like that. So, that was a, that was a big win for me. And so now, if we can get a baby... Villager before the end of the episode, and before the end of the series, the, this uh, this challenge, I would be really happy. All right, now, uh, Grandma's Gone Gaming, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, you are 100% right. I forgot. I left um, I left these open to problems. Excuse me, thank you. I didn't want to put that on your head. Uh, so that, you know, critters, and, critters could get in and uh, mobs could get out, or one way or the other, something like that. All right, so now that's a better setup, and I've now blocked myself out, which is okay, too. Without checking for creepers, but I'm good. Okay. All righty. So we'll go ahead and get back in here. All right, so now that should be okay. I did the same thing I did over there. I always forget when I put a block down like that in it, you know, to make them connect nicely, that I open up other problems. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I agree. Thank you. I hear the iron golem. And for what it's worth, I don't know if... if uh, what I appended to the end of the last video made sense, but um, I went back to episode 7 and I noticed that the Iron Golem does indeed appear. You can actually hear him while I'm working in in the uh, the smithy um, doing some work on the on the what do you call it? Um, workbench in, in the crafting table. You can actually hear him appear and start to walk off. I didn't see him, but when I came around the corner, those two little videos I had added at the end. Those are from uh, when I was walking out at the end of episode 7. So he did appear fairly early. I was I was really pleased. I'm going to go ahead. I was really holding off on... I, I, I'm just not a fan of putting window, you know, doors next to the windows or taking out the doors, but I'm just going to have to go ahead and do it in order to get uh, you know, a higher door count here. Do I have... Yes, yeah, good. Um, just in the hopes of getting our our little guy. I guess I can actually add one over here too. Uh, let's try to make this a little nicer. Uh, let's just go ahead and maximize doors. Now, I really should to do this properly since I'm at the farthest edge here. I should count to make sure there's a, a village center which starts off at the, the fountain there, the uh, well. I'm having a heck of a trouble time with, with words today and goes out 32 blocks but it, it adjusts by the center of all the different doors so you know if this is more than 32 blocks i don't think it is it might be uh then these doors might not count towards this village um and you can act, you actually start to begin a, a second village actually so you can have two villages right next to each other but that's part of what the center of the village is is what determines you know who's in what village and and those kind of things and how many doors are in the village so whether uh you guys can spawn or not, that kind of stuff. Now I can do, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, where'd it go? I don't have, well, I'm not going to go find one right now. Um, so here's a nice way I can add a couple of doors in. And then the last thing I think I'm going to do, where's, where's Basil Bub here? Hey! Hey, bud. So glad you came to join us. Let's go ahead and put a couple of doors in right here. Oh, except these are going to be difficult. Here's here's where the rest of the mechanics comes in. All right, so as uh, Grandma Gone Gaming taught, taught me, the number of spaces here, one, two, three, four, five, and it, it, there's more complicated mechanics, but in this case, it's going to be the five empty blocks in here. There have to be at least six empty blocks out here. One, two, three, four five, six, yes, event here. So this will count as a door. But if I go in over here, 
I'd have to make sure that I have all that space open that way. And I think I do. Uh, well, let's just count it out real quick. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Don't mean to be rude. Just doing some work here. All right, let's just count this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll go ahead and throw the door there on the hopes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, okay, so that will actually act as a door, and we could put one more over here. Really, seriously, excuse me, I'm sorry. Just uh, right in the right spot. So let's go ahead and throw these up here. Uh, and then what I... All right, so what I should do is try to count villagers. I've got three standing right there, four, five, six, There's a because they keep moving around, that's gonna be hard. I know I have at least ten, right? Seven. Otherwise, I wouldn't have the golem. All right, so I'm, I'm just gonna take a quick guess that I don't have more than ten or eleven. I'm thinking I just probably have ten, and so I need thirty-five doors. Excuse me, just to support that. Is that right? Just to support that. Uh, so let's just take a quick look here. So two on here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, that, that adds four more there. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, I don't have anywhere near enough doors. Uh, Twenty-one there. Uh, I can already count of those. Two, twenty-three. I wonder if that door counts because it's on the wrong side. Uh, hmm. All right. Yeah, I don't have anywhere near enough doors <laughs> to have the little guys show up. All right. Let me go ahead and fix this one while we're at it. And oh, I didn't hear it go down. Uh, do I have enough wood to create? I guess I do. Oops, wrong one. Here we go. Uh, so that will get me to. Wow, I'll still be quite low. Well, let's go ahead and do this. Um, I guess, uh, oh, no. So, uh, 3.5, let me try to explain as best I can. And, and Grandma, uh, please ex you know, correct me where I'm wrong here. But it's. Uh, I can't even build doors. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Having a heck of a timer. Uh, let's see. So, um, 3.5 doors per villager are required. So, when you have, in order to, the, the algorithm that figures out whether they should uh, you know, create a baby villager is that it needs 3.5 per villager. If you have 10 villagers, you need 35 doors just to make them happy. When you have 30, essentially 30, because I can't have a half door, 39 doors, then we might get another guy. So, that's what we're aiming for. So let me go put these out and see what we can do. I forgot about this door. We got the open space, this one, but that that one might work because the open space is above this. Hmm. I can't hurt to try. Yeah, honestly, at this point, every extra door will help. And we will see what we get. Um, boom. All right. And let's keep going. We're just going to add same issue there, but I, I don't know how the, if the plants are considered um, you know, visible pass through or not. So we're just going to not take that chance. We're going to go ahead and add the doors here. Not very nice, but just to get them in the hopes of. Do I still have this? I <laughs> used up most of those, didn't I? Uh, okay, food wise, right now, so we'll do that. All right. Um, this would be the same case, but we're going to go ahead and try it, just because it's it's at the level of the bottom of the door. That's the first check made, uh, and then uh, the if there's uh, so it checks at the bottom level of the door. So since all these blocks are clear, um, this should be a valid door, no problem. I could even add one over here if I want to. Let's go ahead and just do this, get as many out as we can, because the day is going to be going quickly. I forgot to start my timer again. Oy. <laughs> Just not organized. Uh, so I'm recording this on Saturday after it was supposed to go up, so I'm, I'm quite late um, 
try to fit it in between kung fu and guitar lessons and everything else. So uh, a little bit, you know, it's standard standard for me, just not quite all focused. There we go. I'm going to leave that one there, but I am going to go ahead. Yes, I'm going to add one more here. Yeah, my door's day is already going. So the goal here is just to go ahead and get as many doors up as I can. Encourage. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Well, let's see. I could take that out, but you know, it's just a pretty little thing. I'm not going to do that. Um, everybody's going in for their break. Well, and at this point, I don't think they'll. Um, at this point, I don't think they'll actually create new guys. Um, hello. Would you care to go inside? Yes. What happens if I push you in the water? No. What happens if I push you out of the water? All right. Now I don't know that they have to be out in daylight to make uh, in order to create their little baby uh, villagers. Um, so we'll wait and see. Go ahead and grab. Oh, did you finally decide to go someplace? Okay, good. All right, uh, let's go ahead and add some to these. Oh, scared these guys. That's all right. Is anybody in here? No. Okay, good. All right, let's go ahead and get to work here. I love how the iron golems go to work keeping everybody safe. Interesting. I don't seem to be hearing the door sound when I put down a door, but that's right. Good. Okay. I thought I had a spare. I hear a zombie. Make sure he's not inside. Nope, he's over there. Okay, good. All right. Okay. So uh, the question I was I was starting to talk about is I don't know if um, you know being nighttime is going to be a problem here. Uh, I think that, you know, while they're inside there, I don't think they, they uh, will mate and create little babies while they're stuck in there. Hi. Checking on my handiwork? Um, so we'll see. Let me just do what I can here. And it's not the way I would have done it. I, you know, this is, this is you know, gaming the game. And I prefer not to do that, um, you know, in most instances, um, just taking advantage of some of the game mechanics because you can. So I don't think it looks very nice. I like to anthropomorphize these little guys and, you know, say that the villagers are, uh, you know, I, I like to treat them like people. It's kind of silly, but it is what it is. Um, same thing with the, as I mentioned earlier, the, the whole iron, gar iron golem farm. I just, uh, you just, I just can't seem to do it. Um, you know, the iron golems are here to protect the, vill protect the villagers, and I just have a rough time creating something that will kill them. So, that's just me. Somebody in there? Yeah, people are in there. Uh, let's just fit. Let's pull more door right here. Oops, I didn't put the torch up. Any problems? Nope, looks good. All right. So we are down to our last uh, what eight minutes or so of the of the competition here, and uh, so we'll see if anything comes up out of that. I don't. I think I've already used my flowers for the memorial for the villagers. I did lose. But let's go take a quick look. Um, right, so I used. My flowers over there. I was going to create a park. And I don't know that I'm going to have the wherewithal to do so. Let's see. Uh, well, I've got a few things. I mean, nothing serious. I have a few flowers and some trees. Um, all right, let's. Uh, Still have a piece of paper. <laughs> and my niece here is today. Uh, my niece is with me today. So Hello. if you hear a voice in the background, that's her. Hello. So she wanted to come up and uh, hang yeah. out while we're doing the recording. Free build still hasn't reset yet. Yes. So she's talking about uh, free build on Mind Squish. Um, Sadly. 
It's getting crowded, I take it. I just want to grief everything. I'm just kidding, I don't. But... Yeah. <laughs> but not, not the joke you want to make. Alright. So, let me go ahead and... Um, let me grab... Let's just see what we can do with a couple of trees and a path. Um, do we have any more gravel? No. I do have gravel, but I don't have any dirt. I was going to create a, a sort of that path stuff, the, the coarse dirt. I don't see it, so no luck there. All right. Hmm. Well, we could put it here, but it's getting a little crowded. I think we're going to put it back over here. All uh, right. Maybe here. So let's see what we can do to create kind of a little park here. We'll get... Um, No, no, watch. At the end of this, I'm going to bone meal and put that all back somehow, but that's okay. Yeah, maybe I will, because I want to get the flowers and stuff. So let's clear that out, and we'll go from there. So that we can use bone meal to get a few flowers and whatnot. So let's, um, don't make it too uniform. But let's go ahead and create, like, a little park here. And maybe another. Um, let's go over here. I'm going to go build and make it kind of come up this direction and eventually I'll put clear that up but at least that's the idea all right let me take that see if we can get some of these guys going help out yeah there we go all right and now I won't be able to get those torches that's okay sorry for the jerkiness there yeah, so, so far, so good. That's there. And there. Thank you. Let's catch this one. Put some torches here. Make sure it has the light it needs. And... Yeah. Alright, now this is... Yeah, it's good. These are high enough for us to walk around. Let's do... If it'll let me do it, let's do... One more right there. You guys aren't sure about this, huh? I can hear you humming away over there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yes! Oh, look at that. There we go. I love it when we get these big guys, and that just kind of fits right in there. All right, so we've got eight bone meal left. Let's go ahead and take advantage of it. Or try to. Good kind of a... No flowers, really? All right, well, let's just keep trying. Oh, there's a flower there. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting some flowers. Get hit that too while we're at it. Make it kind of a... Oh, there we go. Who used collection that time? All right. Now... So that's kind of pretty. I think, and then... Um, do I have any birch? I have oak, but I don't have any birch. I hear you, skeleton. Um, just thinking about fence. Um... I mean, quite right, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of mark it off here so that it would be you know, kind of, uh, of course. <laughs> uh, give it, you know, so I'd extend that out, but we won't have time. Our day, last day is coming to an end. Uh, and let's see. So then do I have, oh, I know. Here, let's go. Not quite right, but we could do it with this. Let's see. Um, we'll do, uh, let's do it. Let's do it with these. We'll create some smooth stone. I didn't need to do it here, but that's okay. It's funny how often I, I can do something right in my own, you know, the regular inventory crafting table, crafting chart, and I go ahead and go through the extra hassle of finding and going to the crafting table to do it. So, just silly stuff. All right, so we're going to create a little path using these. As best we can. Nothing too uh, uniform, I think, just kind of here and there. I'd use the coarse dirt um, normally, or something like that for a more rugged look. If I want that many in one place. Hope oh, I didn't have any. No, oh, okay. Okay, uh, not day 10 yet. Look at that. We have a little bonfire. Cool. Well, our little, my niece is looking, so we have all the zombies baking up over here. 
<laughs> so, didn't get bone meal down there, that's too bad. So we'll put in, well, we still have a moment, uh, not that, oh, that flower. There's day 10. All right, well, no babies to speak of. I'm going to go ahead and wander through the village just to see if any of these guys decide to, uh, you know, create little guys. Um, but it is after day 10, so that part of my challenge, I did not succeed in getting uh, baby villagers. I did succeed in keeping most of them safe and getting an iron golem, so I'm very pleased with that. I think some of these guys are thinking about it. I don't know if, if I nudge them, is that going to be a problem? Or are they just standing? Uh, uh, some of them are thinking about it, I think, so we'll see. We'll see. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, she likes you. Go ahead, go ahead, go, go. Um, I feel like a chaperone at a high school dance. Uh, actually, I guess the, that'd be the reverse of a chaperone at a high school dance. <laughs> anyway, um, can you replace that, please? No? All right, fine. Uh, all right, so that's it. We're going to go ahead and, and uh, I was partially successful. Um, quick memorial. Um, did lose five of my villagers right off the bat. Um, had a whole lot of fun learning and doing new things. We've got food and cattle and all that. We seem to have relatively happy villagers. Uh, I am by, you know, I absolutely, there's no question about it that I've become kind of a slum lord by throwing in as many doors as I possibly can. Um, lots of guys talking to each other. But, no lucks. Okay. Well, I was hoping to see that maybe just at the last minute we'd get a little guy, but... No luck. I may not have enough doors out. I'd have to really stop and count them properly. We've got a few things set up. It looks pretty nice overall. I think we did all right. Um, contrary to you guys, I know most people hate this uh, little well cult you know, thing. I actually like it. Uh, I hate. It. I, I don't like it when it's kind of raised this way. I think that kind of drives me crazy. I like it when this is at the bottom level. But the well is a nice simple thing, and it goes with the, the structure and all that. So that was a... That was a fun challenge. I enjoyed doing that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I appreciate you taking the time to watch all this. And uh, uh, I'm not sure if I'll do the next MHC, but I'm sure I'll be back at some point this year. Uh, I'm going to go off and do some other projects, I think, for a little bit. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, in any case, I'll be watching you guys. And I certainly appreciate all the support. And Grandma, uh, Grandma's Gang Gaming, thank you for all of the uh, feedback and all of the great, the great tutorial on how to take care of villages. That's actually one of the ones I'm working on is a survival uh, in a uh, coal biome and I want to create a nice village and convert a zombie villager and that's the goal is to create a nice looking village from scratch out in the coal biome and that's uh, inspired from your tutorial so thank you for replanting do you have a farmer now? nope still shepherd alright I've gone way over but I had fun thank you guys and I'll catch you guys on the flip side bye